Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee, without a doubt. I have independently been providing mind-blowing entertainment on YouTube for years. Typically in the form of repairing old junk. What you see behind me is a Honda 1974 CB360. Prior to purchasing this motorcycle it had been resting in distress for many years. After purchase it sat for a couple more years in my garage. I have finally gone through this entire bike getting it running and nearly roadworthy. If you feel the need to get caught up on this series, I will leave a link in the description to the playlist on this Honda CB360. Although she's not 100%, I think it's time to go for our first rip. The Honda CB350s and Honda CB360s have a distinct sound to them. Beautiful sound, music to my ears. So I hope you'll come with me and enjoy the ride. I would love to tell you this is my first trip out on our CB360, but it's not. My audio recorder has failed me again, and it was an awesome, awesome first rip. I got to a top speed, believe it or not, of 81 miles an hour. Shortly after that, it started to puke out and miss and stumble and it turned out that one of the carburetors actually blew off of the bike and that's why it happened, that's why I was running like that and I limped it on back home. You can't duplicate stuff like that. I'm not even going to try but what I am going to do is we're going to run this motorbike through all the gears so you guys can hear it run. I am going to try and beat my top speed run of 81 miles an hour, which I don't know honestly if it's possible. This thing, it was flying, but it's shady at that speed. Here's how you know we're in Kentucky. We've got a truck going 19 with a bush hog behind it. Let's get around it. Here we go. Excuse me. Pardon us. As you can see, this thing is a ripper though. I believe the jetting's right. It's got a hundred main jet in it. And that was a big question. Watch it, look. <laughs> Watch. Look guys, look how look look at the RPM. Almost 10 grand. I'm not sure exactly what gear that was. But she revs. She pulls. Pulls hard. I've been past these folks three times already. I'm sure they're getting fed up. Me going by, rumbling through here in this, on this bad old motorbiker. But, it's part of it. Oh, it's awesome, I'll tell you that. This is everything I thought it would be. It's just wonderful. I love this little bike. It's a nice size. The only complaint I have is the dang suspension. I have forgotten how stiff the suspension are on these bikes. I mean, it's stiff. Woo! And it's got a big poofy seat. It's still, it's hard on my back, this thing. That's my only complaint, not a big one. And what do you expect from 1974 motorbike? The speedometer gauge was coming in and out. It didn't work at all to start with, but now it's coming in there, look. It's nearly accurate, so that's cool. We'll just keep running it. Maybe it'll just start working like it's supposed to. This bike is awesome. It's running great. I like this one. I really do. Some of you may be sad to hear that I already sold our KE100 actually this morning. That's right, I sold it. Why? that exhaust. <laughs> it's like straight pipes. I don't have any air filters on it right now so she's flowing. She's flowing. I'm very curious to see if this thing will beat 81 miles an hour. I'll be surprised if it does to be honest. I think that's all she had. But even if we get 82, I would be 
quite pleased with that. I think that's pretty dang fast for this old motorbike. I'm not sure what they're supposed to do, but I dang sure don't want to do much more than that on it, I'll just tell you. Not me. I don't want to. This ain't Marcella. The fun begins now. I'm going to run you guys through all the gears. It's got six of them. I'm going to go nice and easy. There's first. Here's second. The reason why I'm letting those cars get in front of us, we don't have enough room. They're not going to allow us enough room. Second, just ease and listen to it. Now I'm going to gouge it. Here we go. Look at that. Ten grand. Ah! Corner. There we go. Ah! I forgot what gear we're in. Check it out. Look at the RPM gauge. Nearly nine grand. Ah! I think that's fifth. <laughs> Here's sixth. Ah! You know, we're on a corner here. I, I need a straight stretch. I'm gonna hold it right here. Let's hold it. Come on now. I'm holding her. I'm holding her. I'm keeping it where you guys can see. <laughs> Man, this thing. Come on, girl. I need to tuck my nose down by the gas tank. That was one suggestion the guy told me. We're just not gonna do it this time. Ah, gotta let off of her. Ay, caramba. This does not handle like a new bike, so. I'm going for it. I'm going to hold it and we're going to keep going until we see 82 miles an hour. Here we go, 81, 83, 84 miles an hour, <laughs> 85, we just hit it, 85, that's it, that's it, I'm letting off of it, that's it, Woo! that's it, we're done. The shop. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I couldn't believe the top speed on this thing. 85 miles an hour is crazy. I am absolutely loving this little bike. If you are still watching at this point, you are a serious viewer. You need to know that our next project is going to be a boat, a John boat, 14 foot. I want to install a stick steer and remote controls to it and hook up the electric start and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a very involved but fun project. And I'm curious what everybody else thinks of this project. Are you guys interested in this? Not interested? Only like motorbikes? Just curious. Let me know. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.